Hey everyone, back at Farmer Pad here. I'm here with Coca Loco, aka Craig, and we're walking to his his farm. Um, yesterday, I had a wonderful massage with, with Craig on the beach. Aloe vera massage it was absolutely divine. And we're walking to his farm now because Craig told me that he started growing food with COVID and Corona and all that. All the jobs that were lost, people had to start growing their own food. And we're walking by this huge pine tree. And he said, hey, this is what people use. People come from Canada, people come from all over to get this plant because it actually fights COVID, it fights Corona. So tell us about this, Coco Loco. Yeah, this is, this is like a medicine, you know? Say so you can boil it and drink it, put it in the fridge to cool, and you drink like one cup a day. It ain't gonna do nothing. Wow. This is what away all the sickness, you know? Yes. For cancer and all those stuff. All right, yeah. good. good to know. So guys, we're heading to his farm. He has a makeshift farm, you know, with COVID and Corona and all the job loss, people had to start getting seeds and growing their own food because people just didn't have the money to do, you know, to buy as much as they want. So we're walking along the beach and I'll check back in in a few minutes when we get to his farm. We're actually walking to his farm. Okay, we're leaving the beach now and we're going to head to the farm. Look at this sign. I love it. <laughs> Alright guys. So we're gonna we're following we're following Coco Loco to his farm. Alright, so where we're we walking. Nice beach view. Huh? Crocodile? No one seen a crocodile. Suppose them see me before I see him. That's his house over there. Huh? Oh crocodile over there? No, I don't want I don't want to see any crocodiles today. <laughs> Yes. So Coca Loco, tell me um, why did you start this farm? When did you start the farm? And how did you get the land? Tell me, tell us some more. Yeah, you know, I started to think about the planting like in March, last year March, because you know, the COVID just come down and you know, we lose our them. job, we lose our job, so we didn't got any job, you know? So we just said, hey, look, food is getting there and all that stuff. We gotta plant some food, so it's more cheaper and us. And I told, and I don't really not eat meat, so you know, I have to go for some vegetables, some pumpkin, and some stuff. So we never have no land. We said, okay, so much land is over here wasting. When they're ready for it, we're gonna use it, okay? Oh, okay, so you. You basically started because people lost their jobs yeah. and they needed, a, uh, you are a vegetarian so you needed a way to be able to eat. Yeah, exactly so. so you found some land that nobody exactly. using so yeah. you figure you'll, you'll use your land until I'm ready for it. Yeah, ready for it. Okay, so he's yeah, just... Cook with my That's what I'm Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm a triple door job, I'm hold on to you. Yeah. <laughs> link up with my uncle who named Tallman. Oh, okay. Tallman, okay, your yeah. uncle. Yeah. He's a Rasta man. And he used to hustle on the beach. You know, so he said, yo, that's a good thing. We could plant some food. And when we got enough food, we can sell it and make some money, said way to buy liquor, different snacks to eat. I said, that's true, bro. And one day, Uncle take me, man, and we get the cutlass. I would just walk and come and say, I'm going to do it. Over the up me later, we say, no, I'm going to do it on the roadside. I said, can you hear the, the vehicle in a job right. right now? Yeah, we say we are doing it on the That means the uh, government comes to say we have to do this, and can't do it really. You know, nothing with me. You right. have to respect me. You know that one day? Right. So we have to say, yo, I'm a thief, we are a thief. So you're doing we're it honest. up and up because you're doing it on the highway, yeah. so it's not like you're trying to hide. Hide, yeah. Right. Like, you know, so hunger 
I just I just gonna repeat a, a few things because just in case we have people from all over the world, not the Jamaicans. Yeah. So you know sometimes they, they can't hear because they have a nice soft voice. Yeah. So mother voice, man. Right, you have your mother voice. You have two voices, you know. So yeah. Then the mother, you have a different voice. Okay. When men are good, chuckling, good mood. Right. You, you will get this voice, cause you know. So yeah. Yeah. In so you basically life, you I just start with the uncle or the necessity. So it's not like, you know, sometimes in the States or in England and other places where people watch this channel, you might start growing food just out of fun or because you want an or organic alternative. But Coco Loco and his uncle Talman, they grew food, started growing food out of necessity. So where did you find the seeds? How did you start? You know, we're not going to lie. We start off with some pumpkin seeds. Oh, pumpkin seeds. See, yeah, that we start off with, with some okra. So, you know, so, then the easy to get uh, pumpkin yeah, and okra. Yes, so, you know, so, we find we go in the market. We the two job okra. We take it. I uh, even tell we go and market go buy two okra. We take it and put out two wow. of the dry. Get the seed out of them. That's pumpkin. excellent. When we buy for boil soap, we cut out the belly and we try one side. Excellent. Excellent. You know, so, so, so guys. He, all he did was buy two okras, two okras from the market. He bought a pumpkin to cook. He cooked the pumpkin, took out the seeds, and he planted the seeds. Yeah, and yeah. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with those two yeah. okra and those pumpkin. Yeah, can't man. wait to see. And then, when my Ella see me, I go and go and say, I have some banana sucker for you, you know. I said, Uncle, I get some banana sucker, you know. So, you know, what we are going to do? We are going to rise up them banana sucker there and plant them up too. I must say, I'm pepper too. I said, yeah, man. He said, I have some pepper seeds soaked, you know. I said, yeah, hot pepper, wow. scotch bonnet. He said, what? Everything we can sell in town, we don't want to use so much. I said, well, no problem. Scotch bonnet, everything. Yes, yeah, scotch bonnet, pepper, man. Really thing, awesome, man. awesome, awesome, awesome. two minutes, we reach at the farm. I know you're a farm 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 farmer. No, you're, yeah. oh, it's not no, here. I'm a good farmer. No, it's not from right at the head. OK, see, wonderful. See. Yeah, man. I'm so pretty excited. Hard. This is the farm. Yeah, I'm going to start build up and no, say so, oh, oh, I want to ten, I oh, want to jump, and you know what? You just start uh, invest. In real life, uh, you know, some people, obviously, every black people are with you, but they don't know. Sometimes we just want good. You're right. And you don't know God make good, bad, and the ugly. That's right. So, and I love I that you're doing this because you could have gone the wrong way. You're a young man. Start from here, but. Yeah, get yeah, bush up, so Right. Oh, I see you clear the land here. Yeah, this is wonderful. And I love, at Tony, I mean, um, Coco Loco, yeah. you could have gone the wrong way and chosen crime. No, no. But you grow your own food. No, you grow your own food and you have enough to sell. I'm a guy who grew up in the country and used to this. Yes. I see, I see one of your peppers right there. Uh, one of your peppers. Yeah, Look at that, guys. Yeah, man, you see? Hot Beautiful scotch pepper. Bonnet. Yes. And I, and I absolutely love this, man. And you were, guys, he said he was a Kingston guy. He was a Kingston guy, so he didn't know how to grow this. And look at this. Look at these beautiful pumpkin vines. Wow, so he was not a farmer, he wasn't a country boy. But COVID, I started my channel because of COVID and wanted to help people. And, and he started growing food to eat. Look at that, look at the scotch bonnets, guys. Look at all the pumpkin vines everywhere. You can see the pumpkin flowering all over. I see some corn over there, bananas. Yes. Look, you see, this man when Banana. he was cooking for me, right. I was setting the hose at certain spots. Oh, you set the hose, nice. So where you get water from to set hose? Take the water from over here. The rich people in place. Like oh, that. but the rich people them. <laughs> okay. So something will pull up the tank for you. Yes, a big manager. Okay. So you have your tank. Look yeah. at that, guys. Pumpkins galore everywhere. He has his water system. He have like a banana sucker there. All of this, all of this is not years old, guys. All of this is just in March of last year that he started growing food. Walking low, walking low. Right. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a, this is huge. You've done so much. Oh my goodness! I've got to see these peppers. Remember when I see at this, I would tell the wife that I was pulling up some stuff. Right. Oh my gosh! This is absolutely beautiful. 
I think give it two pepper to go home. Jeez, um, them, them, are, them can't, they're not allowed to take it. But guys, look at these scotch bonnet peppers. Look at this, guys. Can you guys see? All of this, he started growing last March. And look at pumpkins, peppers, as far as I can see. Look at this, guys. Look at these peppers. This is a scotch yeah. bonnet pepper yeah, field. You're gonna put corn over oh, here? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, I see clear the land over there. Yeah. Nice. So tell me something. What expensive fertilizers are you using? You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, to really have the money if you can buy a fertilizer. So no fertilizer? Me, me natural from the earth, say, you see? But burn. The dirt. Yes. Like you know what I mean? Burn the you dirt. You burn the dirt. So we get some seaweed. Wow. Put your root. Guys, guys, did you hear that? Just seaweed. last week, I posted a video on the benefits of seaweed in the garden. And you see, all he does is burn the dirt and he uses seaweed. If you guys missed it, I'm going to post a link to my seaweed video. Be sure to go back and watch it. Look at this, guys. In the US. Yeah. And I see our bell peppers here. So it's not just, look at this, laid into the ground, bell sweet peppers. Pepper, yeah, yeah, bell peppers, our sweet peppers, sweet we call pepper. it, bell peppers. Yeah. Wonderful. From bigger one here. Wow. Look at look at my one and the smoke in here. You see? Look at my little herb tree, too. Put a little herb in the garden, too. Okay. And I see all the blossoms. Look at all the blossoms on the pumpkins. This is totally awesome. That's Salomon Grave, you know, so. Wow. That's your friend Grave? No, that's a... That's my herb tree. Oh, your herb so, tree. Remember, they find a, a herb tree on Salomon Grave. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. And I just love yeah, this. This is. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah, we have a couple of pumpkins. Look, you see one here. Yeah, I see another yeah. bigger one right there. Yeah, and you didn't have any formal training for agriculture. No, 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 no. And then, and then you're not. I no, guess no. you're able to. Help and support your family with these sales. Cause it's got one or two or three. Where are you okra? Oh, you know, okay. Look, okay, then the on the side one. Wow, side. this is a huge, huge piece of agriculture. Yeah, we can we have a color load on the side. Too. So color load, all right, let's go check it out. Yeah, I'll take my time and walk. I you clear all of this with a machete? With a cutlass, so you didn't have to use any power equipment. You just clear this by hand with a cutlass. Yeah, cutlass on the so then you can see my Wow, yeah, that's some hard work. And I can see the, the ground is full of rocks, so this wasn't like easy. Yeah. Oh, that's peppers. Oh, so guys, we're growing. Be careful where you step. That's stuff growing. That's food growing. So don't step on those other things. What is this growing? Sweet peppers. Sweet peppers, so be careful, don't step on them. Yeah. Wonderful. So you just throw the seed out, you don't... And yeah, and this ground is full of rocks, but I know Jamaica has very rich soil. And I can see it burn in the ground. I can't hear you. So, sweet potato, guys. Sweet potato vine. Wow, nice. So when you're ready, dig up your sweet potato. I, yeah, I see the little one here. Very nice. So, so you're able to make a, a living, growing your food. And you hustle, you do your facials, you do your massage on the beach, and then... Yeah. Wow, look at that. So you have to give me some tips. Give our users, our, our listeners tips, because a lot of my subscribers started growing food also in the past year, since I started watching my channel. So a great tip is you burn your soil. In, a, in the U.S. you may not be able to burn soil, but you said use the seaweed, yeah, which I... Seaweed. Tell me how you use it, because I just did a video yes, two weeks ago. You know, shit out of the sun. Because you know, seaweed the sun itself. Too. Right. So that have been some look uh, something nice. You know, look at seaweed there. Uh, you notice, you're not know, seeing a room. Right. You know, oh, yeah, I have to give you, I have to give you a pound for that yeah, one, because seaweed, I told yeah. him it deters the insects. Yeah, it keeps his insects keep away. Anything. Yes, Good. See, look, let me look up. Cool skill, like I show. You know, some look at that and get me. I say, you know, I like that cool skill. I say, I can look at 
Oh, look at this. There's some sweet potatoes. Come yeah. out. You don't those take up some. Those could dry. You're drying them and they're going to plant them again. Yam, you know, Jamaica, yeah, the yam. Two pieces of yam are never too good. Yeah. So you plant it there. Good. So start running. Good, yeah, so I grow yam to white yam, but I grow it in a bag, because I don't have the space. Do. No, no, so when you start to run, you're going to stick a stick. Yeah. Really. Okay, then wonderful. Then so let me see a color, though. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. it's a little bunch there. Okay. So cool. All right, I'm, going, I'm making sure I don't step on you. You're nice. Yeah, yeah. Food. Watch your little Yes, I, I'm making sure I don't step on anything, because all of this is, this is not a hobby. This is food to eat and feed this family. Yes, I see the okra. Oh, guys, look at how healthy the okra looks. So he uses seaweed to keep away the bugs because I have never seen scotch bonnet that is so healthy before, like the scotch bonnet we just saw. But he uses seaweed and everything. It builds up the plants, it builds up the root system, and um, it keeps away the bugs. So all this is kept basically captured land, but he's able to, to provide for his family um, with this. Hey, Craig. Craig, can you tell us what all this, what you use all this wood for? This yeah, mountain? Pack it to make a coal skill. That's a look. To use coal a what? Skill. To make a what? Coal skill. A coal. Coal skill. Coal. Oh, you're going to make coal? Yeah. So oh, see wonderful. It's a burn. Yes. It's sprinkle with the seaweed. What? So it's dead. we are burning it. Have a look of strength in it. Look over there. My color will be fat. Wow. So, guys. The dirt, the dirt that he what burns, he adds it to it, adds seaweed to it to, to strengthen the soil. All right, so I'm coming. I have to be very careful. It's a very, very, very rocky ground. And I have on my cute little sandals. These guys see my cute sandals. So I have to be very careful that I don't rock my foot. All right. You, you, you talk, you're talking you're talking low and I can't hear you I know you're not an idler I know that you're a hard working man this is not easy work I'm extremely proud of you and all of my, all of my listeners look at the Kalaloo man yes so you can cook up your Kalaloo and your okra and your piece of pumpkin wow so you have ackee tree so this is captured land, but he doesn't live here. He has Aki tree where he lives. But this is captured land that he uses to provide for his family. So I clean it up more, clean up more space to grow food. But you know what? When the owners for this land come, they have to be happy that somebody is using the land so well. They can't be upset. They can't be upset with you. Look, Eat, eat, wow, that's a lot of land. That's a lot of rock stone. Yeah, you can almost probably sell the rock stones. That's a lot of stones. Yeah, man, I'm right. Yes. What is this? Is this some kind of food? I see this around or just bush. What is this one? Oh, it's a kind of peas. Okay, running peas, guys. It's kind of peas. All right. So you have peas growing too. And I see a lot of seashells in here. So Jamaica, um, guys, Jamaican soil is very rich. You, can, you see the color of the soil. In South Florida, we have basically sand. But in Jamaica soil, you can basically plant food and it grows much easier than it does in the US. He's growing all of this food without buying any fertilizer. Look at that gully. A cave? A piece of yam. All right, so that's a cave, guys. That's a huge cave. Let me take a picture. That's a huge cave. Okay, so the ocean goes straight into the cave. Wow. All right. All right, so I love this. I love this. So I think we got a good coverage of your beautiful property. Thank you so much for sharing. I, I said I had to come and visit a real Jamaican farmer and you weren't planning on being a farmer but you are a real this is a, you are a true farmer. <laughs> I want to buy like two of that right now because that one is very something. Right. So tell me something if if our subscribers want to find you and they want to come get their massage or they want to come tour where can they find you? On the Royalton Beach. On the Royalton Beach. And they ask for Coca Loco. Or, or Bearwood Beach. Where? 
Uh, Burwood Beach, that's the local beach. Oh, Burwood Beach, that's the local beach. Burwood Beach or Royalton yeah. Beach? Yeah. And as for? Burwood Beach and Royalton Beach. Okay, Burwood Beach and Lo Royalton Beach. Yeah. Burwood Beach is a local beach in Trelawney, in Falmouth. Yeah. So you make sure you ask for Coco Loco. He's been absolutely wonderful. I got my wonderful aloe vera massage yesterday. And now I'm getting a personalized tour of this beautiful property. And then we're going to head back to the beach now so I can have a nice beverage and relax. I want to do some planting, but should, this is the cave after what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, you have to be careful that you don't get hurt or block off. You don't want to block off the water. Yes, I see another kind of squash. So, um, before we go, I just want to make sure, do I have permission to post this on my channel? You're welcome, look, as I tell you, I ain't no wanted man. I know. Free to do that. That's how so I can out. post a video about my post massage and post a video anything. about the farm because I want the world to know about you. You're yeah. a wonderful person. I'm, I'm very happy. I, I feel... want the world to know that said, look. I'm a change guy. I'm a guy who do good stuff now. No I'm very bullshit. proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You're you're awesome. Well, thanks Welcome. again. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, same here, same yeah, here. Husband, come on. <laughs> so till next time, guys. This is yeah. Backyard Farmer Pat. Yeah. And in the beautiful Trelawney, Jamaica. I'm glad to share my homeland with you guys. And I'm glad that you're, we're able to spend this time with Coca Loco. Coca Loco, come let's take a picture together. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit like. I'll have more videos coming out on Jamaica. Till next time. Bye.